Alright team, I'm on my last key of the night. Been using this character for a long time. Trying to get the hang of it. It's brand new, it's my level 84 Pathfinder. I remade a Pathfinder so I could test a whole bunch of new ideas I had. And uh, so far so good. So in this video I'm going to try to show you what it looks like to skip animations on Pizarro. Okay, not a lot of people know you can actually do this. This is more or less a proof of concept video. It may not work. However, I will do my best to explain what needs to happen during the fight in order to actually skip those animations and save lots of time. Okay, so here we go. Fight number one. If you guys don't know what build I'm playing, I don't know if I'll release a video anytime soon. Maybe. If you guys are really curious, I might. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna try to time this perfectly. It's very difficult. Didn't get it. So do you see how uh, his beam connects to the gargoyle over there? If you take his health down to where it's at right now before the beam connects, you can skip uh, all the mechanics and the animation. It's instant. You kill him instantly and boom, this door opens. Okay, so that's how it works. I did everything correct right there. I just didn't quite have the damage to push him quick enough, I think. That was pretty dang close. It's about as good as I'll get as an example. Uh, I have one more opportunity to show you because on the last phase it is trivial. Okay, so the next phase coming up is the three essences. The three essences, and uh, I have not been able to skip that tonight. However, I was able to skip the gargoyles one time tonight. Okay, so just trying to get this on video. Some people don't know you can do it, like I said. And I want to show that you in fact can do and I'm pretty sure now this this is speculation this part but I'm pretty sure some of the top lab runners are abusing this mechanic to come in first place by a mile I'm not naming any names but if you look over there at the rank one chances are you'll find out uh, who I'm talking about anyway round number two Normally I would swap this inside if I was going for speed, but I'm just going for an informational video at the moment. So here's what I'm doing. Putting down all my mines. Orb of Storm's vulnerability. And one shot him. Okay, so he still got he still got uh, the animation off, unfortunately. However, he is still dead. So all I have to do is run around like a ding-dong for the remainder of the fight. Not quite what I wanted to uh, have happen with this build, but it's honestly not that bad. It's not that bad. The goal was to be able to one-shot him before his animations go off, which I know I can do. I've done it one time. I just need to get the timing down, I think. Actually, when I one-shot him, it wasn't even with the Vingtar. It was with the Witchfire Brew. Which is weird, because... Witchfire Brew is less damage. So, I don't know how, uh, how that worked out. Okay, so I need to get a couple blast charges here. I forgot to get them while I was running. Alright. Here's the sketchiest part of the fight right here. If I get clipped by these blades at any point in the fight, I'm dead. Okay. That, I kind of... I'm not used to my keybinds, so I kind of messed up on my like weapon swaps and all that. Anyways... 
I tried to showcase this build the best I could. Uh, really quickly at the end of the video, I'll show you uh, my rank on the leaderboard so you can see this build doesn't suck completely. Uh, I'm not really playing it well. Like I said, on that run, I was trying to explain some stuff. So this build's got potential. Um, and yeah, you can skip animations with it, which is the, the, it's the goal. So if you're interested, I can do a build guide or release some more information. But for now, I'll see you guys later.